and it does continue the trend of PSG sticking to the champion identities that they are used to playing yeah. and not necessarily playing what the latest flavor of the patch is. It's going to be a fascinating game because to me, the Aurora Vex is a double AP burst combo, which unless you win the game by a lot, I've seen fall flat on its face so many times because any little bit of magic resist just doubles up your ability to counter both of those champions. So I think MDK is being really bold with these picks. It's not like Mirwin and Frescawi have had dominant series. They've been generally behind in both yeah. games. He is level two Very here. Mirwin risky. in a lot of trouble. We'll see if he can outplay this. Aja trying to close in. They flash in. They stun him against the trade, wall. Though. Beautifully played by Junja. He is going to go down for it, but they are denying quite a bit of these minions here. We'll see how much Quaid is lost. Mirwin does have flash, but oh, he's he not going to expect him to be here. Yeah, you would not expect him to be behind you. Use the X-Flash, and now he shows up. Mirwin potentially in some trouble. Elio going to try to get up here, trying to buy some time. He's six. Does have the ult. He goes over the wall, but Junja is there and waiting. Slams him into the wall. Nice attempt at escape from Mirwin, but it just it doesn't matter. PSG, bring the extra men. They'd like to be able to start out this Drake, but they do not actually have a numbers advantage, so they have to play carefully here. Yeah, Supa in oh, a lot Supa. of trouble. Aja going to flash forward, and you have to think he's got it with the big one. He does. Nails him with it. Gets the solo kill in the top lane. The As Skarner is going for a play onto Alvaro, he's kind of alone. He's just trying to actually stack up the heart seal, it looks like. But what he is he really doing? overestimated his rank here. Gets knocked away, but Junja just gives him a freebie. MDK will take it. Woody has to flash out as well. Very satisfying. It is. It's now crazy. Now they're invading his Grom. Yeah, Junja gonna get, land the impale onto Alvaro. Not even actually having to port pop the ultimate until just now. Maybe he waited too long to do so. As Aja is chasing after him, he has the flash. Is he gonna have to use it now? Flash is way too late. Alvaro oh, makes a big mistake, and now Supa is caught. Maple is there. The cleanse comes out. Can he actually get out? Maple trying to finish him off. He doesn't have the damage. He's gotta wait for the spells. The true shot barrage doesn't actually finish him off. He gets over the wall. The ignite is there. Oh, he predicts him. He gets the kill. Junja trades it back though. Now trying to go forward, what a scrappy fight there, Supa. Of course, this is the final game of the series if you are just tuning in. Whoever loses is not out of it. They will have another chance. Alvaro going to get caught, pops Ooh. the ulti, but he pops it too early that time and he gets stunned up by Woody's ultimate right after. Unfortunately, didn't have the timing. It is a freebie, but... And the Aurora ult going to be in the river, and crucially, can Vex land the ultimate onto Maple? Oh, Maple the Q flash! He gets caught out and he gets feared up. Is he going to go down? No, not just yet. The ultimate comes through. They finish him off. The bullet time over the top, and the Impale comes out. Frescawi's in trouble. Frescawi is down. Woody's down on the other side. It's Aja trying to make it happen, but it's Aja with no chance in hell. Alvaro with the massive play. It's the Q flash, finding Maple and deciding the fight. The Impale came out afterwards, so by the time he actually pulled Frescawi in with the Impale, the bull time had ended, and now MDK are going to be cleaning up so much on the map, including the Skarner, who's just food for the Lions. They're pushing forward, looking to put the finishing touches on this game. We'll see if they can do it. Junja was just way too far out, trying to solo defend a tower. You got no Crazy. shot of doing that, and now they have no shot of defending the mid lane inhibitor. They probably have no shot of defending the top lane inhibitor as well. This game just swung so far in MDK's favor. I mean, some questionable decisions from Junja. They just need to withstand this Baron. MDK getting a giga Baron power play off of this one. It's going to be at least 5k gold. Yeah, it's going to be massive for them. Both those inhibitors are gone. MDK now going to have full wow. run of the map here. PSG just couldn't even get in position to defend. They were so spread out around the map. And potentially, again, Skarner might be caught. Oh, nice impale, though. Actually catches out Alvaro. Can they actually burst him down? The ultimate's making him so tanky, but he has gone a bit too far. Wow. Junja there turning it around onto Alvaro. Does get a kill, but the Baron buff's still here for 30 seconds. Already nearly a 4,000 gold Baron power play there. The goal just slingshotting them into the lead from what was a pretty good spot for PSG from almost the entire game. They have some vision on Mirwin, so they're aware that he is there, but he has got to be careful. But it's a stun Split. over onto El Yoya. Nice buffer on the flag and drag. Junja gonna go in, does find Alvaro. He's gonna pull back the flash in from Alvaro, trying to turn around as they impale there. The bullet time comes through, but it's El Yoya going into the back line between worlds. Aja's getting nothing done. He's not even in the fight. He's over the side. He can't do anything. And he's just gonna watch as the team falls. Maple goes into the back line, but Supa's alive, and Supa has something to say about that. 
trying to chase after Maple. He's on the run. Oz is trying to survive as well. They need to survive or the game is over. Oz is trying to get out of there. Mirwin is not going to let it happen. Catches him with the slow, chasing him down. Aja, the last hope here for PSG as Supa has killed off Maple. That should probably do it, but Aja is still alive. Now Supa chasing up after him. There's just no way out. Supa hits him with the Mystic Shot. MDK win the fight, and MDK are going to be heading to the Swiss stage. What a series by the MDK bot lane. Supa and Alvaro clutched up. You said it, MDK's key members in the bot lane showing up when it mattered most, being the difference makers for the team. Alvaro with the picks when it all came down to it. MDK outplay in the fights, take down PSG, and are the first team through from play-ins to the Swiss stage.